What's going on model building fans? Hey, it's Brian and we're doing a shop card shout out right now at the beginning of this video here so we can say thank you to a few folks out there that have done a shop card swap with us. And there's a lot of S's in there so I'm glad I got them all in the right places. Uh, first, we want to say a very heartfelt thank you to uh, Big Charlie over at Charlie's Models because he sent us uh, this from the memorial service of Chris Cortell and um, was not expecting to see this in the mail at all. And it just totally blew us away. So thank you very much for thinking of us, Charlie. We appreciate that very, very much. And I'm going to see if we can't get some little frame or something like that. We can put this in and keep it here in the uh, in the build room, in the hobby room, so that uh, Mr. Chris is always looking over our shoulder, you know, letting us know, hey, that was easy peasy, or mm, maybe you shouldn't have done that, you know, <laughs> something like that. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for that, Charlie. Um, now, we want to say thank you to Terry for the awesome shop card and I just want to take a second here to say that this was one of my favorite showroom stock builds of the USAC group build. Uh, Terry did an awesome job with that color and I think these are actually, um, if I remember correctly from his video, these are aftermarket wheel caps and uh, they look beautiful on there man along with the uh, the B of Goodrich tires. I happen to like the uh, white wall tire on the uh, the bone stock car so you know I think that looks pretty cool. And um, I just got to say, Terry, you got me. You got me really good. I spent probably about five or six minutes just now trying to set up my lighting because I was like, why can't I get this shadow to go away? And then I realized that the shadow was actually on the card. <laughs> so it follows me everywhere I go. So, yeah, I just thought that was you got me. You got me good there. Anyway. Thank you so much for the kind words in the back, sir. And we are, of course, very happy to support your channel. And, of course, there will be links down below for channels that you guys, uh, if you're not aware of their channels, uh, please go check them out. Uh, over here we have uh, Mr. Henry Robs. And Mr. Robs, thank you so much for this awesome card. We are uh, mid-century modern fans here. Uh, our living room and decor are kind of leaning that way. It's a very expensive uh, um, decorating genre to get into, but, you know, we, we, we're making it work. Uh, but, yeah, when we saw this card here, I was like, that is awesome. Good choice. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. And the words on the back, sir, extremely kind and very heartfelt, we could tell. So thank you so much for those. And um, not only did we get this awesome card, but we got a magnet. Who doesn't love magnets, right? So we're going to add this to the refrigerator of fame. This is like, I think this the first or second uh, official magnet that we've gotten from somebody as sort of like a shop card thing, but this is so cool. So we're going to have the refrigerator of fame, the toolbox of fame, the binder of fame, <laughs> everything, everything is going to be of fame. So thank you so much, sir, for the, for the magnet. And he also sent along something to Mrs. BG and we're going to have her do her own, um, shop card shout out if we can corral her and get her uh to speak on camera here but uh we'll see if we can't get that to, to go on here some other time now on with the show okay and on to our feature presentation we're doing the final for our small scale group build that was supposed to end at the beginning at the at the end of february and uh as you all know we had uh we had extenuating circumstances that kept us from having bench time but we finally got her done, and I decided to take just a little bit of extra time and do up the driver figure. So it's a very general driver figure. It doesn't, I don't think it's supposed to represent anybody in specific, but we did take a, a, an extra three whole days to do this, uh, this driver figure. Uh, and I had to uh, go back and watch some YouTube videos on how to paint figures because I, I did that for... Uh, military build a while about this time last year and I'm like oh yeah sure I should be able to remember everything and I, I didn't so I ended up having to go back and do some more uh, research on that but driver figure turned out okay I think he looks pretty cool sitting back there behind the wheel I don't have many figures in my automotive builds I think technically this is the first one ever so congratulations little dude <laughs> you're, the, you're the first one ever uh, we did have some trouble with the decals. The decals came from Indicals, and I think I think I'll be able to post a link down below. But um, the decals are great. Okay, nothing wrong with how uh, Michael does his decals over Indicals. I think they turned out great. I've used them before in other projects, so I didn't have a problem with them. The problem was user error, and I got a little crazy with the uh, setting solution. 
when I was going over the top of these uh, fender louvers here and ended up they ended up breaking up everything because they, they couldn't there wasn't enough but I didn't give enough material to the area to, to kind of go in and out of every single little groove so uh, the decal did tend to it was the, the right size but I don't know if I if I had figured out how I'm supposed to do that I probably would have done a better job and honest to goodness if I knew ahead of time that I was going to have such a problem, I probably would have gone and painted those louver areas there and then come back and put the decal over it so that if it, if it tended to break up or whatever, I wasn't going to be a problem. Um, you know, something, that, that whole hindsight type of thing. This this car here had been sitting on the on the shelf for quite a while uh, on the, uh, the build desk here. I did not want to put it on the uh, shelf of despair. I wanted to keep it on the desk so I could keep after it and keep moving on it. Uh, once they had that, uh, that problem with the decals, it really took the wind out of my sails. So I ended up just not making the deadline at all, as you can probably tell by now. But um, uh, eventually we got back on this guy here and finished it up just yesterday morning or yesterday night, actually. Uh, doing these side decals. Now, the the reason why these side decals were such a big pain were because, were because was because um, the front end of the car and the back half of the car are two separate pieces. The back half is intended to come off, so you can see all the detail underneath there with the engine and strutting and stuff, chassis and jazz. And then um, that doesn't that didn't match up very well to the rest of the car. And it's, it's just, it just was like, okay, how am I supposed to put this big decal on here that's supposed to cover three separate body pieces and be able to lift off the back? So we needed to make sure everything fit absolutely perfectly. And as you can see, it's still not fitting 100% correctly. Uh, and that is because the back half of the car is a tube chassis. It's all, it's all styrene rod. And uh, that doesn't... It's not very stable it's not very it's not, not it's not very strong so it tends to flex under its own weight and this thing weighs nothing but it tends to flex under its own weight and then it bumps into the actual rear decking here and lifts it up which is what gives us this gap right there now i could probably go back through and add magnets in there i don't want to uh, we'll see how she's si we're gonna leave her sitting on under her own weight for a few weeks and then come back and revisit that see if that if that keeps opening up more and more so we'll we'll, we'll see what we need to do but yeah the, the answer to this would probably be magnets the magnets that i use are probably strong enough to keep that in place and keep the car's weight from popping that up so uh we'll take a look at that in the future date but uh as far as all the other decals they went on are just great these guys went on here just fine we swabbed them with uh microsol sol and uh, the, the setting solution and um, they hunkered in there really nicely so we could go back and cut them out with a with a nice sharp hobby knife later on and uh, yeah this is a two-tone paint job there is a silver tub below and then the uh, the was what was that called TS 101 though the, the nice gloss white color around the back side because of my experience putting on the decals on the louvered fenders in the front I figured out how to do them on the back here so they turned out pretty well um, and then here's all of our chassis framing and stuff. And this is a vintage kit. This is an older kit. I, uh, this was from like 1974 or somewhere in there, 74, 75. And uh, it actually does have a, a, a stamping on the inside there that says that it is from Lesney, meaning Matchbox, not AMT. So that is interesting. It's, it actually has AMT on the box art, but I think this is a second, that, that's a repop of this. So um, this is one of the older kits, and it went together so well considering his age. You can see the little garbage going on here. Went together so well considering his age, but it was still a super fun car to build. And I built this along with my friend Tommy over at Colonel Rebs. He had done the same car but a different livery, so that was that was kind of cool. He was we were shooting texts back and forth through the whole ordeal. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. And I'm like, I haven't even got there. <laughs> And uh, he painted up his figure too, which kind of inspired me to paint up mine as well. But I do want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Sean over at Scale Model Car Guy channel because he, once again he was a champ and uh, you know helped, helped uh, let us help him out doing this uh, this small scale group build, which we're hoping we can do every year now because this year looked like we had just as many entries as we had the year before and got a lot of great feedback on it. So. Let's we'll see if we can take that rear deck lid off without destroying anything, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so there we go. We got the rear deck lid off. 
this is it here up and close and personal so the decals you know they, they wanted to go down inside there but i still had to do a little i have to do a little bit more touch-up painting in there and um it was kind of weird because this little cut out here looks like it should go around this vent intake but um i did a terrible job hand painting that i need to go back and fix that too but i needed to get a video out on this but yeah this these look good i i think i fretted more about these little guys up here than i did anything else on the car uh underside's pretty basic that's part number 40 right there and uh i i guess i should probably paint that up on side there too you know so much left to do such a tiny model so much left to do and i'm gonna have to bring this in closer because goodness gracious this there's a lot to see so uh we just did some detail painting on the on the tubing and wiring and stuff and then i looked at a lot of photos a lot of photos on how to paint up all this in here and i decided to go with a blue pop-off now for the uh for the exhaust for the turbo and then i just i just love it i think it's awesome most of the times when i when i'm showing this is probably going to have that rear deck lit off uh in the case it'll probably have the deck lit on there but uh, yeah, our little driver dude, he's a little dirty looking, but uh, you know, he's he's been on the road all day. So yeah, really, really fun little kit. Uh, if I had another one of these, I would definitely consider building that and probably just seeing if I could find a different livery. Uh, it seems like all of these cars have to have these super long stripes on them. So I'm like, I don't know what they were thinking when I did that, but hey, it is what it is, right? All right, y'all, apologize about the length of the video, but we did have a lot to cover, plus a big shop card shout out at the beginning. So thank you to all of our friends that sent us shop cards, and uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later on. Bye now.